Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Fault Lines, a creation by Carl Pillemer. In the book Fault Lines 2020, a hidden issue that often goes unaddressed is brought to light, family estrangements. Shockingly, more than 25% of Americans go through the heart-wrenching experience of being disconnected from loved ones at some point in their lives, leading to severe emotional consequences. This insightful work delves into the root causes of estrangement and offers unexpected yet valuable guidance on how to mend these broken relationships. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Carl Pillemer, a sociologist and gerontologist, holds the esteemed position of Hazel E. Reed Professor of Human Development at Cornell University. Additionally, he serves as the director of the Cornell Legacy Project. Among his notable works is the highly praised book, 30 Lessons for Living. With eight key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, the text is about the potential benefits of transforming family relationships. Family estrangements are common but rarely discussed. Many people feel ashamed and alone in their experience of being cut off by a family member. The author conducted a research project to learn more about the phenomenon and find reconciliation strategies. The key lessons include not waiting for an apology before reconciling, rewriting the narrative of the relationship, and understanding the strong emotional impact of family estrangement. Second chances are always possible in relationships. Key idea number one. There are six common pathways that can lead to family estrangement. The author discusses the common pathways to family estrangement, which are traumatic events in childhood, divorce, conflicts with in-laws, conflict over money and inheritance, unmet expectations, and differing values. These underlying dynamics can lead to volcanic events and ultimately result in estrangement with significant consequences for the entire family. Key idea number two, estrangement negatively impacts the entire family. Family estrangements can have devastating effects on individuals and the entire family. The broken attachment can trigger intense grief and feelings of personal rejection. People who experience family estrangement have a higher risk of depression and may question their own value. Dealing with a family estrangement is often harder than mourning the death of a family member because there is no closure and the possibility of reconciliation followed by rejection. Estrangements can also impact the rest of the family, causing collateral damage and long-lasting effects. Key idea number three. Estrangement can be temporary and resolved. The text discusses a personal story of estrangement between two brothers, Cliff and Harry, who eventually reconcile after eight years of no contact. The author emphasizes that estrangement doesn't have to be permanent and that reconciling can bring peace of mind and access to important resources within the family network. The text concludes by mentioning that in the next section, practical strategies for resolving conflicts will be explored. Key idea number four. To reconcile, one must release their personal narrative of events. When we have unresolved fights or conflicts, we tend to fixate on the details and get attached to our own narrative. This can hinder reconciliation because we are unable to see other perspectives. To move forward, we need to critically analyze the conflict and take responsibility for our role in it. It's important to understand the deeper meaning of the event and not view it as an isolated incident. Re-examining our own story can be uncomfortable, but it allows us to be more open to reconciliation and understanding. Key idea number five. Reconciliation is about moving forward and creating a collective future by releasing the past. The text discusses the common discrepancies in how people remember the past, causing impediments to reconciliation. It emphasizes the need to let go of the past and build a shared future, even if family members may never agree on what happened. Reconciliation involves creating new relationships based on enjoying each other's company in the present. 
examples of finding common ground, such as pursuing shared hobbies, are given. These initial connections can lead to deeper conversations about the past and long-awaited apologies. Key idea number six, it is important to have realistic expectations and embrace our family members for who they truly are. The text discusses how our expectations of family members can lead to estrangement and suggests that we should adjust our expectations and accept them for who they are. It emphasizes that lowering expectations doesn't mean accepting abusive behavior, but rather addressing conflicts that arise from clashing personal values. It provides examples of a person reconciling with their brother by accepting his faults and of grandparents re-establishing a relationship by re-examining their expectations. Key idea number seven. In order for reconciliation to occur, it is essential that there are clear and healthy boundaries within the relationship. Reconciliation with abusive family members can be scary, but developing clear boundaries is crucial. Therapy can help establish these boundaries. Communication is key in setting expectations, and it may be necessary to disengage if abuse resurfaces. Re-establishing boundaries is likely, and being firm in enforcing them can lead to a healthier relationship. This tough love approach helped Sanjay reconcile with his critical father and maintain a relationship. Key idea number eight, the decision for reconciliation is up to you and only you. Arlen had a realization during a Christmas Mass about the need to forgive and reconcile with his estranged brother. He decided to reach out to his brother after the service. The text emphasizes that the decision to reconcile is a personal one and it may come suddenly or gradually. It suggests reflecting on the relationship and considering the positives and negatives before taking action. It's important to be prepared for the possibility of rejection and to have reasonable expectations. Seeking advice from friends or a therapist can be helpful throughout the process. Despite the fear, reaching out often leads to more to gain than to lose, even if reconciliation does not happen. In conclusion, family estrangement is a common but taboo topic. Reconciliation is possible by letting go of the past and adjusting expectations. Acting fast to resolve conflicts increases chances of reconciliation. The book, 30 Lessons for Loving, provides insights on love and maintaining long-lasting relationships. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.